for England, for me, it was a disappointing uh, appearance. It was a disappointing game. I don't think they were able. They, I don't know what they expected. I don't know if they have never faced a physical side. It didn't look like they knew how to handle it. Whenever you're playing as a team that's inferior, they're going to do anything they can in a World Cup to disrupt you and to make it very, very physical. And it didn't seem like they could handle it. They weren't playing one and two touch. They weren't playing click. They got caught up in the emotionalness, and it was just... I wasn't good enough, but I don't understand what Phil Neville is doing after the game. Well, let's let's uh, bring you those quotes from Phil Neville. Actually, uh, it's got a lot of attention. This mm. is what he had to say uh, regarding Cameroon. I didn't feel like football. I've got to be honest, that wasn't a World Cup last 16 match in terms of the behaviour I want to see from footballers. This is going out worldwide, and I can't stand here and say that I particularly enjoyed it. My players didn't enjoy it. He kind of went on to kind of say that this is an example. These these women on show should be role models and Cameroon players were anything but. Ooh, there's oh. so much to unpack in that entire statement. <laughs> like when you guys read that, right? When I was, we were talking about it in the green room, I yeah. was like, this is what every World Cup is like. World Cups are hard to win and any team will do anything to beat you. This actually shows their inexperience to me. They're not used to playing like CONCACAF qualifying, the stuff that gets done to you in qualifying on the women's and men's side and on the men's side as well, right? For your manager to be spinning this, and this is the first thing you say, instead of controlling your team and letting your team know it's not good enough, they need to play faster. That should have been the narrative he, he sets right from the get-go. This is a cop-out, because this doesn't put them under a microscope, say, this wasn't good enough, we need to be, be-, be better. What do you think, boys, from those comments? Has he, has he got a point? Should no. they be some role model? <laughs> Keep your nose out. You've got enough to worry about with your team. Mm. It's absolutely spot on. The, the only thing you should be worried about is... Why did my team not play well? Even though, even though you look at the result and 3-0 looks like comfortable, it clearly wasn't. But why didn't they play? Why didn't they perform? Mm. Why don't you concentrate on that? You've got enough to do to try and sort your team out without taking time out of your day to, to, to complain about the opposition. Surely in this modern game, they're able to scout out teams. I mean, this is the World Cup, right? You don't just go in and ju- you don't throw yeah. your players in and say, right, here you go, go, go and do the business, girls. It doesn't work like that. You, you, you prepare your side for every eventuality. That's what you do. And, what, and to Kate's point, if, if you feel as though Cameroon are coming in, they're coming in late and they're, they're playing some naughty business, then all you've got to do is just give the information on the field, play it quicker, get it and give it, get it and give it, move. Well, I suppose if he's asked a question, is it not just honest of him to give that sort of response? You don't have to, you don't have to answer a question because somebody asks you, you know. You can pivot. Exactly. You know, in fact, you never, you never answer anybody's question. You tell them what you want them to know. Right? That's, that's exactly what you do. Are you disappointed with Neville? I'm disappointed with that response. I'm disappointed that England did not know how to handle it. This is one of the World Cup favourites, and we're seeing it with France playing Brazil. These are two European sides that I don't know if they don't face this type of competitiveness mm. in terms of how teams play that are inferior to you, the time-wasting, the kicking behind, you know, when the ref isn't looking, the grabbing, the clawing. This is all part of the game that happens, and it doesn't seem like these players were ready for it.